Hey guys, I'm back with another DVD update, this time with another order from GoHastings.com. Uh, a couple of weeks ago they were advertised as a uh, free shipping day, so I kind of used that to buy a whole bunch of cheap movies. Um, normally movies I, I probably wouldn't buy uh, outside of uh, picking them up really cheap. Uh, most of these movies shipped were between 90 and like a dollar and 20 something cents very cheap uh, so cheap in fact I spent about fifty dollars uh, on this sale alone I got close to fifty titles so uh, I'm not sure how long this is gonna run but uh, we're just gonna bang through them really fast so let's first up we have uh, growth kinda looks like a bug feature movie it looks pretty good uh, so can't wait to watch it up next uh, I own the first one of these so I decided to pick up the sequel there's a third one too but I'll probably pick that up when it's cheaper uh, wrong Turn 2. Um, I know nothing about this. The first one was okay, um, so we'll, we'll find out. Wrong Turn 2. Uh, next up, I remember watching this a long time ago. Uh, I, I think it was hit or miss, but it was Wes Craven's Day. Uh, I don't remember hating it when I watched it, so maybe that's a good sign, maybe not, I don't know. So, Wes Craven's Day. Uh, up next, I picked another movie up, and this is actually from the director of, of another movie I have called The Dead Hate the Living, which I thought was really good. So I decided to pick up something else he did. That was The Hills Run Red. Uh, looks like a, a slasher movie, so hopefully that'll be pretty good. Uh, up next, I picked up a, a movie I know nothing about called Plasterhead. Um, it kind of reminds me of Pumpkinhead. Maybe that's why I picked it up. I'm not sure. So uh, Plasterhead. Uh, the killer scarecrow genre. I always remember this one, uh, Dark Harvest. There's like uh, two sequels, I think. Uh, and I'll probably pick them up when they're cheap. I haven't actually seen this one. I do own uh, like Dark Knight of the Scarecrow and stuff like that. Uh, so killer Scarecrow movies are always semi cool. So hopefully this is good. So I've always had a fascination with like underwater creature movies, so like shark movies and other weird tentacle things. And uh, you know I love the Jaws movies. I uh, I also had like some really low budget B movies uh, from you know like the the 60s. Uh, so. I have this huge fascination with it. So I picked up, I know this is going to be bad, but uh, Sharks in Venice. Um, judging by the cover, you're like, hey, that looks pretty awful. Yeah, so uh, very low expectations, so hopefully it'll be okay. Up next is a movie I heard about, and only because Andy Serkis, everybody might know him from Lord of the Rings, as he played the, uh, the voice and motion capture of Gollum, uh, and that's The Cottage. Um, so I'm hoping uh, that'll be pretty good, so Cottage. Up next I got was a uh, Dimension Extreme, and I don't think I've seen a Dimension Ex Extreme title that I actually liked. Uh, I'm hoping, I saw the trailer for this, and it looked really bad, um, but maybe a so bad it's good type deal. And that's Triloquist, Killer, uh, I guess, the Mannequin or whatever you want to call him, Killer Dummy. Uh, it looks okay. The chick on the front cover looks very familiar. And I don't know if it's just because she's a blonde, and I've probably seen a thousand blondes in horror movies or not, but... Uh, uh, again, low expectations, so hopefully it'll be okay. Stephen King movies, uh, for me, have been, you know, uh, very hit or miss. Uh, most of his movies are, are extremely long and kind of boring to me. Like, so if we compare Stanley Kubrick's The Shining to his version of the TV Shining, which I actually do own both, uh, Stanley Kubrick dominates. It's so much better than, than Stephen King's version, regardless of how close it is to the novel or not. But I did pick up Graveyard Shift, um, I don't really know, I don't really read Stephen King, uh, but he's like the name in horror, so maybe this will be pretty good, Graveyard. Up next is a movie that I keep seeing on a whole bunch of like movies you haven't seen lists, and that's Infestation. Uh, it looks like a bug slash zombie movie. Um, human, they call them human hybrid mutants, we know what they are. Uh, Infestation, so hopefully it's good. Keeping with the uh, creatures from the water thing, I picked up Lake Placid 2. Uh, I, I, I had the first one, I, I love the first one, especially uh, the old lady, um, one of the Golden Girls, I forget her name, uh, feeding the crocodile. Uh, it was hysterical. Lake Placid 2, um, probably I've heard is not as, nowhere near as good, uh, but hopefully it's, it's watchable, so Lake Placid 2. Up next is another movie I keep seeing on a whole bunch of lists, and I figured I'd just go ahead and pick it up, and that's Eden Log. Uh, if you're just looking at the back, it just looks kind of crazy. So uh, hopefully that looks, hopefully looks pretty cool. Um, I remember I, I watched Pandorum, and I saw uh, a whole bunch of people talk about Eden Log um, in other website hits that I saw comments or whatever. 
Uh, so I was like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe I should check it out. So Eden Log. Um, so yeah, so I picked up a lot of titles I normally wouldn't buy, and this is actually one of them, and this is just like an Alba in the Eye. Um, Japanese remake. Uh, I don't really know much about the remake at all. The Eye, the original Eye I ordered as well, didn't come in yet. Um, they sent me this instead, which I was kind of sad about. Uh, but I decided I was I would go ahead and keep it. And they actually ended up refunding, so I got this for free. Uh, so Jessica Alba the Eye. The movie I picked up was Killer Movie. Uh, kind of looks like a kind of like a parody movie. You know, people are filming a, a horror movie and, and sh slasher stuff happens. Uh, so Killer Movie. I only got this because of the tagline. It was like uh, from the director of the Blair Witch Project. I actually did like the Blair Witch. Uh, extremely overhyped, but uh, I thought it was actually pretty good. Uh, altered. I don't know much about it other than it's the duty to the Blair Witch, so hopefully it's pretty good. So altered. Again, I have this. I have this. Uh, this kind of weird trend that I always buy sequels before I buy the original, and so I decided that I was going to try to buy some of the sequels and then buy the originals at the same time. Um, for instance, I always owned Final Destination three. I don't know why. I just did, but I never owned Final Destination one or two. Here's here's the second one. So Final Destination 2, uh, I actually ordered this used, 90 cents when they, when they delivered it to me. Uh, definitely has never been opened and it looks, it looks actually like some phenomenal shape. So Final Destination 2. And while we're on Final Destination, uh, I picked up the, the original one. This is actually a snapper case. Again, uh, I ordered this used and it's in phenomenal shape. It's insane. So go, go Hastings. Kind of makes up for some of the shit cases you sent me. Uh, so, Final Destination, uh, pretty much the same movie, no matter uh, what sequel you're in. Um, well, they're good for a laugh or two. Uh, up next, uh, I picked up uh, the original and the sequel to it. It's uh, Are You Scared uh, 1 and Are You Scared 2. Um, I don't really know much about them. And here's one of my gripes is. Uh, some of these are rentals, even though I, they, I bought them used, so I guess people who traded them in. And you can tell they're rentals, because like they still have the, the horror stuff stickers on them. And eh, it kind of makes me angry, but Are You Scared 1 and 2, kind of like the Saw ripoff, so I hope they, don't want, uh, they won't suck too bad. Next is another remake. This is a, a remake of George Romero's The Crazies. I've actually never seen the original. I know, it's bad, I'm bad. Uh, I watched this a while ago. Uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, I can't really compare it to the original because they never saw it. But, but the crazies, uh, I liked it. Up next I picked up was Dark Ride, uh, one of the After Dark Horror uh, Fest movies. Um, I've, I've watched this before uh, pretty good, but again it was like 90 cents or something. So I decided I would, I would like to own it and watch it again. Uh, slasher movie, man, that's all you need to know. Up next is a movie that I always keep seeing at Big Lots, but it always has the, the slash in the UPC. Uh, if you guys know, shop at Big Lots, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the slash pisses me off. I refuse to buy a movie with a, of a slashed out UPC. So there's always these awesome titles I see at Big Lots, and I just never buy them because they're slashed, uh, which is very anal of me, I know. But um, this is one of them, and that's uh, Fear.com. I, I ordered this used from uh, Go Hastings, no slash. The cover's actually in pretty decent, uh, pretty decent condition. The only thing is it had like a, a sticker, like one of those, like, buy new for $6.99 or something like that. Uh, but not too bad. That was fear.com. It's keeping with the, the trend of, you know, underground stuff that I have. You know, I have like the cave, the cavern. Um, I did a review for The Descent. I need to pick up the sequel of that whenever it drops uh, lower in price. But I picked up Catacombs. Uh, I ordered this before I realized who was in it, and that's the, the girl, the, the singer, Pink. She's in this. And I don't remember, I don't know her real name. Alicia Moore, I think that's it. Uh, I didn't realize she was in this. And when I watched the trailer, I was like, didn't know. I was like, I'm completely clueless. Uh, catacomb, so hopefully the fact that Pink Sam won't ruin it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, is, you know, a huge title. It's been released so many times in a whole bunch of different countries. I think, uh, personally, I own like four different editions of it. Um, but I did pick up the third movie, Leatherface. This is the only uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that I didn't own. Um, and I thought it was pretty cheap. It was, it was a little more than nine. I think it was like it was probably one of the more higher priced items that I bought. Uh, I used to own this, and I couldn't find it, which made me angry when I was showing somebody. 
I was like, yeah, I have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I was like, oh, no, we don't. Damn it, where's the third one at? So, Leatherface, uh, part three. That's the end of part one. Um, I think this is going pretty long. I don't like doing long videos, you guys know. So, yeah, tune in for part two.